Welcome to The Power of Faith with David Hathaway. In this episode, David will show you how to apply the power of faith to receive miracles in Jesus' name. During April, David ministered in Ukraine, then he traveled to Germany to hold a day of prayer. Later in the year, we will hold events in Armenia, Uzbekistan, and we plan to return to Ukraine. David wants to join with churches to pray for Europe. To believe for revival fire. Your support makes these outreaches possible. Thank you. Now, please join David as he ministers today's word. And then he goes on, he says, if anyone, this is uh, in verse 3 if anyone, of chapter 6, if anyone teaches false doctrines and doesn't agree to the sound instruction of our Lord Jesus Christ and the godly teaching, he's conceited and doesn't understand anything. He has an unhealthy interest in controversies and quarrels about words that result in envy, strife, malicious talk, evil suspicions, and constant friction. Wow! What does it say? It says that if you teach false doctrine and you don't agree to the sound instruction given to us in the Word of God by Jesus and the Scripture, then we cause strife and friction and problem. In fact, if we do this, then we rob people of the truth. And here it's very strong, because if I read this to you, it results in envy, strife, malicious talk, evil suspicion, constant friction between men of corrupt minds who've been robbed of the truth and who think that godliness is a means to financial gain. Oof. Mm. I think this needs to be preached today in some areas. Godliness is not a means to financial gain. Verse 6. Godliness with contentment is great gain. For if we brought nothing into the world, we can take nothing out. That's very interesting, isn't it? You can't take anything out. You may be the richest man in the world, but when you die, you have nothing. We need to remember, you brought nothing in and you take nothing out. But if we have food and clothing, we'll be content. People who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge men into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. And some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. He's actually quoting from the Psalms there. I think that's um, Psalm 64. You'll find that very often what Paul is doing is he's actually quoting from Scripture and what he's talking about. You know, even in the church, sadly, we have to realize that it is very often the love of money that corrupts. I can tell you that um, I realized that when I set up Eurovision all those years ago officially, and we set it up as a charity, I realized that we had to be absolutely scrupulously honest about finance. And I can tell you that our mission is set up so that I cannot touch any money. I can't sign a check. I can't take any money. I don't receive money in and I can't take money out. It's all controlled by the board that we have in the mission because, sadly, it is with the abuse of finance 
that so many have got into trouble. And it is a warning, and that's why right from the beginning we vowed that we would be above any suspicion with our accounting because we have to be accountable to God. We have to be accountable for every donation that comes because we realize that for many people, money that's given to our ministry, it's the widow's might. People are giving out of poverty. I'm, I, I, I'm really moved almost to tears sometimes by the way that people give. I remember some time ago when we were desperate in this was a particular time when we were able to evangelize so widely in the whole of the Soviet Union all those years ago. And I remember someone who'd paid for a holiday and then the holiday was cancelled because of sickness or something. And that dear lady gave the whole money to us. I can remember somebody else who'd saved up, obviously, in an old property to replace the windows and saw the need of evangelism and gave everything. And we have to realize that working for God is a sacrifice. That's why so often I've had to make big financial sacrifices. Yes, there are times in full-time ministry when I've had financial problems. I mean, when I came out of the prison uh, because people hadn't supported my family, I found myself with big debts that had to be paid. I also had to pay uh, for my stay in the prison and I had to pay for the court. I had to pay for lawyers uh, and that had to be actually paid. I had to borrow the money to pay that before I could get out. So there is a great responsibility. And Paul says, man of God, flee from this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith and take hold of eternal life to which you are called, which you have confessed in the presence of many witnesses. You know, we make a confession that's public of our faith. Then be faithful. And he says, I charge you, keep this command without spot or blame until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us be faithful unto the end, and God bless you. You have an inheritance in Christ. It is expansive, beyond comprehension, and faith is the key which will unlock this power in your life. Through David Hathaway's book, Power Your Inheritance, the book of Ephesians explored. Our prayer is that your eyes will be opened, that you will see and know what the hope is, what the riches are, the glory of God in you. David wants you to enter into the power and the riches of this glory. He wants you to experience and live in the fullness of the blessing. There is so much power available to those who will believe. In David Hathaway's book, Power, Your Inheritance, the book of Ephesians explored. He will reveal the glory of your inheritance in Christ. Order your copy today by visiting eurovision.org dot uk forward slash shop we would like to give you a free gift david hathaway's prophetic vision magazine is available free of charge all you need to do is ask for it this faith building resource will show you the path to revival in your life and ministry to receive this free magazine visit eurovision.org.uk forward slash magazine Thank you for listening to The Power of Faith broadcast with David Hathaway. We would love to hear from you. Contact us by visiting eurovision.org.uk. Also available online are many free teaching resources to help you on your walk with God. David has written many faith-building books to encourage and inspire. Order these online today. Each month, David ministers online and in person. Our ministry is only possible because of the faithful support of so many people. For details on our evangelism and humanitarian relief work, visit eurovision.org.
www.thinkandpray.org.uk. Thank you again for listening.